Today's topic is the kinetic molecular theory of gases. Kinetic molecular theory of gases explains wonderfully the physical behavior of the gases and the gas laws. Let's discuss the main postulates or the assumptions of the kinetic molecular theory of gases. First is the gas molecules consist of the small particles called the molecules. As you can see here in our diagrams, these are the gas molecules. These molecules are very small in size. Second point is all gas molecules which are widely separated from each other. As you can see here in a diagram that the gas molecules which are small particles and there are large empty spaces between these gas molecules. The third point is that the volume of the gas molecules is negligible as compared to the total volume of a gas container. As you can see here that the gas molecules are very small in size and they occupy a very small space in the container. Therefore, we ignore the volume of the gas molecules and we can say that the, uh, the whole volume is that of the container in which the gas occupies. So, the gas molecules have no volume according to the kinetic molecular theory of gases. Fourth point is, gas molecules are in constant random motion and this motion is due to the collision among the molecules and also the collision on the walls of the container. Next point is, that the collision of the gas molecules is perfectly elastic means no gain or no loss of the energy of the gas molecules during the collision. And the total energy of the gas molecules are constant. Gas molecules are non-interacting means that there is no force of attraction or no force of the repulsion present between the gas molecules. As we have already discussed that the gas molecules are very small in size and they are far apart from each other. Therefore, there is no force of attraction or the repulsion present between the gas molecules. Average kinetic energy of the gas molecules is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. As you can see here that the kinetic energy of the molecules is directly proportional to the absolute temperature. It means that when we increase one variable, definitely other variable goes up. And when we decrease the one variable, the other variable definitely goes down. Now look at here in the first diagram, as we decrease the temperature, the kinetic energy of the molecules also decreases and as a result, you can see here that these gas molecules come close to one another. Whereas in the second diagram, as we increase the temperature, the kinetic energy of the molecules also increases and as a result, the gas molecules move faster with the increase of temperature. So the temperature is directly proportional to the kinetic energy of the molecules. Gravity has no effect on the gas molecules. What's the reason behind this? Look at here in the diagram that the gas molecule is floating above the earth's surface. Why it's not attracted by the earth's surface? The reason is that the gas molecules having very low density and we know that the density is equal to mass over volume. So the gas molecules having a negligible mass and are also a negligible volume. Therefore, it's having a less density. And due to this less density, the gas molecules are not affected by the force of the clarity and its floats on the surface of the earth. Now there is a question for you. Why a balloon filled with a helium or the hydrogen gas go high in the air? 
So friends, as the gas molecules having the low density, we have already discussed that gas molecules having a negligible mass and also a negligible volume, that's why the balloon filled with the helium or the hydrogen gas goes high in the air. Don't forget to like and subscribe my channel Digital Chemistry.